The story of human evolution is a tale of wanderlust, resilience, and adaptability. It's a narrative that begins in the heart of Africa and spans the entire globe. The journey of early humans out of Africa and their subsequent spread across the planet is one of the most significant events in our species history. This video delves into this remarkable journey, exploring how our ancestors ventured into the unknown, adapting to new environments and ultimately shaping the course of human history. The African Genesis In addition to their physical stature, Homo erectus possessed a larger brain compared to earlier hominids. This increase in brain size signaled a leap in cognitive abilities, suggesting a more sophisticated level of thinking and problem-solving. It's believed that this enhanced brain power played a crucial role in their ability to create more advanced tools, control fire, and possibly develop rudimentary forms of communication. Perhaps the most profound aspect of Homo erectus was their inherent curiosity and adaptability. These traits are evidenced by their migration out of Africa, a daring venture into unknown territories that no other hominid species had undertaken before. This intrepid spirit was not just about physical movement, it represented a mental leap, a willingness to explore, adapt, and survive in new and challenging environments. Moreover, Homo erectus is credited with significant technological and cultural developments. They were the first to create Achaeulean tools, hand axes, and other tools that were more complex and efficient than the Oldowan tools used by their predecessors. These tools were not only functional but also displayed a sense of aesthetics and craftsmanship. The use of fire was another groundbreaking achievement attributed to Homo erectus. The control of fire provided warmth, protection, and a new way to process food, which likely had profound effects on their diet and social structures. Cooking food would have made it easier to digest and more nutritious, possibly influencing the development of the human brain. In summary, the African genesis of Homo erectus was a turning point in human evolution. Their emergence signaled the development of traits that would define what it means to be human. Bipedalism, larger brain size, use of complex tools, control of fire, and the ability to adapt to various environments. These early humans were not just survivors. They were innovators and explorers, setting the stage for the eventual rise of Homo sapiens and the global spread of humankind. The first migrations. The initial migration of early humans out of Africa is a pivotal chapter in our evolutionary history. Around 1.8 million years ago, a monumental shift occurred as members of the species Homo erectus began to venture beyond the African continent. This event marks the first time any hominid species had dispersed so widely across the globe, fundamentally altering the course of human evolution. The motivations driving these early humans to embark on such an extensive exodus from Africa are still the subject of extensive scientific inquiry and debate. Several theories have been proposed to explain this momentous journey. Climate change. One prevalent theory suggests that climate changes in Africa could have played a significant role. As the environment transformed, regions that were once fertile may have become inhospitable, prompting Homo erectus to search for more viable habitats. Search for food resources. Another hypothesis is the search for food. The changing African landscapes could have led to a scarcity of food resources, pushing these early humans to venture into new territories in search of sustenance. Inherent curiosity and adaptability. Additionally, the inherent curiosity and adaptability of Homo erectus might have driven them to explore new territories. Their ability to create more advanced tools could have facilitated these long distance travels, adapting to new worlds. As Homo erectus spread across different continents, they encountered a mosaic of environments each presenting unique challenges and opportunities, Europe and Asia. In the temperate and colder regions of Europe and Asia, they faced the challenges of varied seasons, including harsh winters. Here, they had to develop strategies for survival, which likely included creating more effective clothing and shelter, as well as learning to hunt different types of animals that were adapted to these environments. Tool innovation. 
The need to adapt to different hunting and gathering conditions likely drove the innovation of new tools. The diversity of tools found in various archaeological sites across these regions testifies to their ability to innovate as per the demands of their new environments. Cultural adaptation. The spread of Homo erectus also suggests a level of social and cultural adaptation. As they moved into new territories, they would have encountered different flora, fauna, and climatic conditions, requiring not just physical adaptations, but also alterations in their social structures and behaviors. Learning and passing knowledge. The ability to learn from their new environments and pass on that knowledge would have been crucial. This knowledge transfer could have included the development of new hunting strategies, understanding the behavior of unfamiliar animals, and learning which plants were edible or medicinal. The first migrations of Homo erectus out of Africa were not merely physical movements across landscapes, they represented significant leaps in behavioral and cultural evolution. These early humans were the trailblazers who laid the foundation for future human migrations including that of Homo sapiens. Their journey is a testament to the resilience and adaptability that are hallmarks of our species. The role of interbreeding, a deeper dive. The global migration of early humans led to one of the most fascinating chapters in human evolution. The interaction and interbreeding between different human species. As Homo sapiens ventured out of Africa and into Europe and Asia, they encountered other hominid species, most notably Neanderthals in Europe and Denisovans in Asia. Genetic blending and its impact, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. In Europe, the encounter between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals led to interbreeding. This genetic exchange has had a lasting impact, as evidenced by DNA studies showing that most people outside Africa have about 1-2% to Neanderthal DNA. This genetic material has been linked to various attributes, from immune system strength to skin and hair characteristics. Denisovans and Homo sapiens. In Asia and Oceania, Homo sapiens encountered an interbred with Denisovans. While less is known about the Denisovans compared to Neanderthals, genetic evidence suggests that they contributed to the genetic makeup of modern humans, particularly among populations in Asia and Oceania. Some Tibetan populations, for example, have inherited a gene from Denisovans that helps them survive at high altitudes. Adaptive advantages. The genetic contributions from Neanderthals and Denisovans are believed to have provided Homo sapiens with adaptive advantages, such as enhanced immunity and better adaptation to different climates and environments. Cultural and technological exchanges. This period of interbreeding was not just a biological exchange. It likely involved the sharing of knowledge, culture, and technology. The mingling of different human species could have been a catalyst for cultural and technological innovation. Transmission of knowledge. The spread of early humans across different continents facilitated the exchange of ideas and techniques. As groups of Homo sapiens encountered different environments and challenges, they developed and shared solutions, including new tools and technologies, art and symbolic thinking. The migration period also saw a flourishing of art and culture. Cave paintings, carvings, and ornamental objects like beads and bracelets provide evidence of the evolution of symbolic thinking and expression. Social structures and cooperation. As humans spread and settled in various parts of the world, the need for cooperative social structures became essential. This period likely saw the development of more complex social hierarchies, trade networks, and communal living practices. Understanding our shared journey. The global spread of early humans from Africa is a profound narrative of resilience, adaptability, and innovation. It highlights our species' remarkable ability to survive and thrive in diverse environments, to learn from and adapt to new challenges, and to create and share knowledge that would shape the world. As we continue to uncover and understand more about this incredible journey, we gain not only a deeper appreciation of our shared past, but also valuable insights into the essence of what it means to be human.